Okay, uh, I'm going to go over the California high school exit exam. It's going to go over a few problems here. Before we start, let me just talk about the seven essentials. These are the seven essentials of math, part of the fraction contraption program. These are really the fundamental skills you need to have to take really pretty much any job or standardized test. Measurement, fractions, percent, decimals. No, these three are really all the same. A percent is a fraction over a hundred, a decimal is a tenth. Um, ratio proportion, which is also a fraction. Probability, the likelihood of an event, and statistics, those go together, and then geometric reasoning. So let's take a look at the high school exit exam. First thing you want to do is really make sure you're timing yourself well. So if you have 30 problems in 30 minutes, you never want to spend more than about a minute a problem. You want to mark up the problem as much as you can circling and, and uh, marking important notes. So this is a high school exit exam. This first problem is fractions, one of our essentials. He uses two-thirds of a cup of oats and he makes six servings. So I'm going to do two-thirds times six. Before I multiply, I want to reduce. Three goes into here once and here twice and I get four. So my answer is four. And then I want to make sure I clearly bubble it in. I skip over here to problem number 12. What number equals 3 8? So again, we have a fraction and a decimal. I need to convert this to this. And I could see right off that these answers don't even make sense. Right? 3 8 is pretty close to a half. These are greater than 1. So I could discard these two answers. Um, the correct way to do this, I think of this fraction as it falls over and I want to figure out how many times 8 goes into 3. Well, it doesn't, so that's a 0. There's a decimal place here. How many does 8 go into 30? It'll go into there 3 times. Give me 24. And actually, I could stop at this point because there's only one answer that has a 3 in the tens place. Okay, here's another one of ratio. Hold this over. Ratio and percents. So he makes four out of her five free throws. So I have that ratio, which is a fraction, and I need to convert that to a percent. I look at my answers here, and four over five, if I multiply that by a factor of, of one, doesn't affect the value, it gives me eight out of ten. And I could easily see eight out of ten is eighty percent. So there's um, a ratio to percent. We have another page in the st statistics, data analysis, and probability. This is kind of a really long looking problem, but surprisingly easy. This is a probability problem. Curtis has three ways to go home, three highways, and four roads. So there's a total possible outcome is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 possible outcomes. If he randomly chooses a route to travel home, what is the probability? So probability is my key word. I know it's going to be the event over the total, the event over the total, that he travels Highway B and Road 4. Well, there's only one way to do that. So it's a total of 1 out of 12. So answer B. We skip ahead to the geometric reasoning portion and measurement of the seven essentials and of the high school exit exam. So this problem here, Javier is using a ruler and a map to measure the distance. Okay, The actual distance from Henley to Sailport is 120. I want to write that on there. And what's the scale used to create the map? Well, if I travel 120 kilometers in 6 centimeters, how much is that going to work out to be? How much is 1 centimeter equal to? So I have 6 centimeters equals 120 kilometers. So 1 centimeter is going to work out to be 20 kilometers. Let me check that. 20 times 6. Oops, 20 times 6 gives me the 120 kilometers. Here's another problem on measurement and scale. What is the actual height of the horse? 
Well, if this is 8 inches, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 9 of those marks. Each mark is 8 inches, so that gives me 72 inches. Again, marking up the test as much as I can. Um, there it is. So, again, the seven essentials of math. Really, if you have these essentials down, you'll do great on the high school exit exam.